Hi everyone, I am Vicario from Go Academy. I'm Gio, I'm System Engineer in Gojek. So today, we gonna share two things. One is myth busting about life as an engineer. And number two, tips on trick for you who wants to apply for Go Academy program. Both social skills and communication skills is very important. And especially in Gojek, you work in a team. And in that team, you will find people from different backgrounds. So you will work with PM, you will work with designers, and you will also work with business analysts. You will also work with people from different nationalities. So I think you also have good communication skill in English. Apparently, that's not always the case in Gojek. Because what we really value more is your skills and your attitude towards the work that you are doing. For example, our CTO didn't have a computer science background. One of our tech lead, like the most senior one, he even didn't have a computer science background. And even one of our engineer was a finance dropout who turned to be an engineer. These are the evidences that your background didn't really matter as long as you work hard and you want to always improve yourself. In Gojek, programming language is just a tool to solve a problem. For example, one of our services, which is allocation, which essentially like an engine to match between the driver and also the uh, passenger, it was initially written in Java. But since Gojek was like growing like really fast, the Java codebase can no longer handle that anymore. So that's why we wrote that in uh, Golang, only in three days. But then again, as like Gojek grew, that we need another solution. That's why our current allocation engine is even written in Clojure. Given that needs, it's extremely important for you to be versatile to learn about new programming languages. So actually, engineers probably only spend like 20 or 30% writing code. The rest of the time, they will need to learn a lot. And then, they also have to have a discussion with their teams, like discussing the best approach to solve a problem. Most of the times, engineers also do thinking and like contemplating by their own. And only at that time, they will find a good solution that they can use to solve a problem. Engineers can solve problems based on their prior knowledge. Is that true? No, obviously, because I think when we're talking about software engineering, it's one of the fields that change the most, right? So, like, things get obsolete very, very quickly. So that's why learning is a very important thing that engineers need to have, right? They also need to have a very good motivation to do that. They need to learn a lot. And they also need to apply that directly into their daily job. So that's all the myths that we have related to engineers. Now, let's move to the second part, which is um, some tips on entry if you want to apply for Go Academy program. There are several methods that we use to assess whether or not you will be the right fit for this program. One of the tests is an offsite test, which essentially we send you a coding problem that you need to send back to us in certain period amount of time. We have a couple of tips on that. Number one, don't be a deadliner. A lot of people fail this task, not because they are not able to do it, but because they didn't submit it on time. They thought that they had enough time and they just procrastinate, but in the end, they didn't finish on time. Perhaps you have another suggestion from the technical standpoint? Yes, so we need a clean solution, right? Something that's easily understandable by our engineers. I also need to read the instruction very carefully because we put a lot of effort in writing that instruction. So you need to have a complete solution, nicely packaged, archive, and then you can send it to us. So in code pairing round, uh, we want you to have a collaborative mindset. Please work with our engineers in how to solve the problem. You can also ask clarifying questions. You can also discuss with them. Obviously, the end goal is to solve the problems with them. You can also try to come with several approach and decide on what approach that we want to take together. But obviously, you have to discuss. We want a candidate who is active. Other important things that you need to do is you need to justify your solution. 
to our engineers and also to the reviewers. One of the reasons why we have this as one of our selection method because we believe that's an avenue to make like a better solution and also a good avenue to like learn from each other, right? That's why we, we are looking for people who are gonna fit with this setup. That's why we have this during the selection process. In general, usually it consists of multiple parts. We're gonna ask you like some technical questions. And you should also be ready to be asked to code on the board. But on top of that, we're gonna also ask like behavioral questions to make sure whether or not you are really fit for this. And we're gonna share some tips for you how to thrive in this kind of interview. So I think first and foremost, it's important for you to know and to master what you've done and where you are going to be. So during an interview, I mean like we are going to ask you to walk through your CV. We're gonna ask you like some of the projects that you've done, programming languages that you did, and also like the tools that you used before. Be ready to be asked like such questions. But more importantly, in the spirit of being forward-looking, we also want to know your aspiration and whether or not we can grow together and benefit each other personally and professionally. The third piece of advice is to find out more about our engineering culture. A lot of the candidates that we interviewed, when they were asked about what they know about Gojek, most of them answer about our products. Right? While it's good to know about our products, it would be even better if you do prior research about our engineering culture. There is plenty of resources available on the internet on this, and one of them is our engineering blog. In our engineering blog, you will understand and you will get some picture about our engineering culture, how we do what we do, and some of the projects that we've done in the past. That will definitely help you to decide whether or not this program will be right for you. So that's all from us. I hope it helps. Yes, and if you have any questions, you can email your questions here. And last but not least, don't forget to apply here. Here. Bye. See you next time. Bye. Hey. <laughs>